Hi everybody, Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am going to make another silk soap. This soap is for, um, well, you know, I'm working on Valentine's uh, today. Just had to get my um, strainer out of the way and it kept falling down. But this is amaretto, so cherry and almond. It smells really good. Go ahead and add my cream. adjust the zoom on the camera because this is kind of an awkward position. This is just my fragrance oil. So I'm doing two colors. I don't know what to call them. I was going to do a brown and kind of ended up a reddish brown. And that's okay. And then a red. And that's probably more color than I want in either of those, but oh well. I'm going to thicken up the base just a little bit. Okay, there's a light trace, finally. Holy cow. Can you pull that brown back out for me? It's getting hot, really hot. Thank you. Oops. Is it better, you think? Yeah. off for the next batch. I have one more batch to do tonight. Get all this out of the way for my mold. Oh, 
lot of air bubbles, so I'm trying to smack them all out. See, I'm popping up. Yep. So I'm going to do a drop swirl. We're just going to add even more air bubbles. I have a metal pot. I think the table is bumping. Yep. I think I'm going to leave all of that for the top. Is the mold in a good spot? Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this smells really good. Scrape the rest of this out. Now you can hear all the children. Um, it may sound close, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they sound like they're really close. And then I listen to the video and they don't, but... They are in the other room. I just have the door open so I can hear them. Okay, I have to move whatever that is. Oh, that's what that is. It's these bowls. Drizzle this on top. And this is a pretty good cherry red, don't you think? Yeah. We'll, we'll see if it stays that color. Sometimes reds can morph, but I used a bunch of different shades. Both colors tonight um, are a bunch of different colors mixed together. Glasses are fogging up, I can't see. I usually don't realize I have them on until they start to fog up. Okay, 
grab that skewer for me? Yeah. It's back on the other table. Thank you. I've been um, doing flat tops, and I really am liking the flat tops. I don't know, maybe it's the change in the bar size, but because the bars are all, I'm cutting the bars bigger now, quite a bit bigger. And I just think the tops look nice flat. So, that's the mood I'm in. So tonight, flat bar tops it is. I just used it on another batch, so. It's thickening up now. It is. You got him. Yep. Oh, he gets mad at his toys. It's really funny. He'll just start to scream bloody murder at them and we all go running thinking somebody's hurt. Nope, just something is just not going his way. So the phone didn't play the key he wanted. <laughs> okay, a little bit of glitter. And she's just talking. Yeah, it sounds like a little teapot. <laughs> Okay, so, and of course, I don't have a name, but here is um, Amaretto, which is in, like an almond cherry scent. And it smells really good. It's not overly sweet, but there is a sweetness to it um, and a warmth to it for sure. So I think it'll be perfect for um, February, but this will be cured January 26th, 2014, if you can believe that. But don't turn off the video because I will have the cutting video um, right behind this one. Okay, I thought I was recording and I yacked a lot, but luckily I haven't started cutting this. This is the Amaretto soap. Nice and hard. It's funny, I could not get this to come to a trace and then it overheated. And I've got a little crack in the top. Not a huge deal. But I did choose a name, and this is going to be called Capella. Capella is the sixth brightest star in the sky. And um, it is best seen in the northern hemisphere in February. Those are my sample bars. It's interesting how different these are. So. One with a lot of color and one with not a whole lot. This smells amazing. I did amaretto actually. Um, a customer requested this one. I really like that one. So remember the color here is going to darken. I'm trying to remember. I don't think it's going to be brown. I think it's going to be a beige. I didn't want it to be a real dark color. And I expect the red and the brown to continue to change in the soap. So I mentioned the cracking on top. I don't know if you saw it in the loaf, but you can see the crack there. It doesn't hurt the soap, it just happens sometimes when it overheats and some fragrance oils just do that. And then the last one. So again this is Capella and this will be cured January 26th, 2014. I will try to get this up on the site in the next couple of weeks. 
Christmas is just a week away, so um, I need to get this cleaned up and pictures taken, but this may be on the back burner for the next week or so. Kids are out of school and, you know, chaos will abound. But um, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.